The coelacanth, or hollow spine, are referred to as a living fossil due to the fact that fossils of the fish were discovered long before any living specimens had been found. They first appear in the fossil record around 400 million years ago and had been thought to have gone extinct around the end of the Cretaceous period. The discovery of a living specimen in 1938 made the coelacanth the most famous Lazarus taxon, or a species that seems to have disappeared from the fossil record only to reappear much later. The coelacanth is related to both lungfishes and tetrapods. They are more closely related to tetrapods, four-legged vertebrate animals, than to the ray-finned fish, the most common fish type alive today. Two species of coelacanth exist today, the West Indian Ocean and the Indonesian. Members of the species have been found off the coast of South Africa, Indonesia, Comoros, and Tanzania. In many cases, the species has been found in both fishing and trawling waters, making it possible that the species is threatened. Unfortunately, so little is known about the coelacanth that no conservation status can be set. The coelacanth is a large lobe-finned fish that can grow up to 1.8 meters in length. They are covered in scales that act as armor, and have eight fins, two dorsal, two pectoral, one anal, and one caudal. The tail is nearly equally proportioned, and is split by a tuft of fin rays to make up the caudal lobe of the tail. They have large, sensitive eyes and a smaller mouth. They also have an auditory system regulated by an inner ear similar to that of the tetrapods. Coelacanth reproduction is not well known, but it is believed that they become sexually mature around 20 years of age. Coelacanth mothers retain their eggs within their body, with an estimated 13 to 15 month gestation, after which the mother gives live birth. The young, known as pups, are birthed in groups of 5 to 25 at a time, and are capable of surviving on their own immediately. Coelacanths employ a unique locomotion, taking advantage of up and down wellings of current and drift. They use their paired fins for stability, also giving them high maneuverability and the ability to orient themselves in any direction in the water. They have even been spotted doing headstands and swimming belly up. They don't, however, use their fins for any kind of seafloor locomotion. Coelacanths are nocturnal, opportunistic feeders, hunting cuttlefish, squid, eels, small sharks, and fish. They sleep in caves at depths of 90 to 150 meters during the day, but can come as high as 55 meters at night to hunt. It has been observed that their need for very dim light and water temperatures, 14 to 22 degrees Celsius, or 57 to 72 degrees Fahrenheit, is more important than actual water depth. The coelacanth's only commercial value is that of an oddity, wanted by museums and collectors. Its meat is almost worthless due to oils that cause the meat to have a foul flavor. As a species, the coelacanth is not well known and is still rare to find. The South African Coelacanth Conservation and Genome Research Project was launched in 2002 to help further studies and conservation information. But what we do know gives us a window into Paleozoic to Mesozoic era sea life and may well be something akin to the missing link between fish and land animals.